playing with that kind of injury in the moment as opposed to a week later for Patrick Mahomes? Well, it's easy firsthand because obviously it's a difficult injury. This is a high ankle sprain, not a lateral ankle sprain, but he's all fired up. You know, he's a, the ultimate competitor. Uh, they taped his ankle, got the confirmation that the x-rays are negative. So in the moment, um, it is easy to deal with, easier, I should say. A week later is a whole different situation. Pain sets in, the realization of what you can do. Uh, I think this weekend is going to be a tougher task than what we saw him in the second half last Saturday. Okay, what do you think? Now, he was running on it a little bit or stretching yesterday, which isn't a true indication, I don't think, of anything there. But does can this get better or does this get worse as we get closer to game time? Well, with a high ankle sprain, because it's a rotational issue, when you rotate and you spread the bones of the lower shin, that's the sprain. That's a high ankle sprain. Well, the running straight ahead is the easy part. The problem is when you're twisting, you see him twisting off that leg. Anytime you see, Dan, that foot rotate outwards, when he's throwing hard, when he's cutting to his left side, coming off that right ankle, that's a difficult challenge. So walking him, watching him walk off the podium, watching him run straight on the football field with no, no Bengals chasing him uh, is a much different task uh, and obviously a lot easier than when he has to change direction and really be an, an agile uh, quarterback, which what he is. When you get shot up, explain that what exactly happens or what happened do you think to Mahomes uh, when, when he suffered the injury? Well, I, I don't think he was shot up. And sometimes oh. the players get a little confused with that is they may have taken a shot or got shot for it. But usually what that is, again, I'm not speaking specifically on Patrick is a toward all injection. And they usually put that into the glutes. It's a fast acting anti-inflammatory. So sometimes you hear people get shot off for the game. And the reality is they took a injectionable anti-inflammatory much, much different. This is not an injury that you would shoot up to, to play in the game. Uh, there are instances when you get a high ankle sprain, because again, it is a tearing of the membrane of the lower shin that you can inject it with a PRP or stem cell and you shut it down in a boot or a cast for a few weeks and let that medicine marinate in there. It's a treatment. It's not numbing things up like the old uh, North Dallas 40 where you put yeah. a needle in it and throw them back in the game. This is a very different injury. And, and that doesn't happen uh, very often in the NFL for injuries like this. There are certain injuries you can, but um, again, it's not like it used to be. And, I, and now really they use good physical therapy techniques, which Rick Burkle to the head athletic trainer for the, the uh, Chiefs is very, very good at this. And treating them that way with physical therapy techniques compared to a needle is a much smarter plan, both short-term and long-term. If this was a regular season game this weekend, let's say week eight, do you think Patrick Mahomes would be playing? Well, I think he'd want to play. He's the ultimate comp competitor. He wants to get out there. But I think looking at it, look at the issues, know it's a long season, midseason. I, I think you see Chad Henning starting this game. But again, this is the AFC Championship game. Uh, the stakes are a lot higher. And uh, I, I think you'd, you need a bulldozer to get uh, Patrick off the field this weekend. 